Kuma and old sorcerer for a moment, my king. Your father gave me that much respect, as did your father's father. Long ago, a meteor plunged into the land of Wakanda. Wakanda was not an advanced nation then. It was a group of warring tribes. The meteor brought them together because it contained the metal we now call Vibranium. Vibranium made Wakanda. With it, we advanced. We repelled outside forces. We connected with our past and our Panther God. You challenged your uncle to become the Black Panther, but you were born to be king. Not all can do both. Not all receive past blessing when they do. You made a difficult choice, closing Wakanda's borders when you thought your friend had died. I do not begrudge you it, but this new threat is different. You have no idea how far these people will go to take what they desire. A corruption has followed in the wake of Ulysses' claw made of the vibranium that keeps the heart of Wakanda beating. And that corruption is spreading. Only one man now stands in its way. You. Take the next charge. Beloved, you let him go? Yes, Okoye. For now. Won't he warn the others? And still they will be at a disadvantage. He will lead me to his friends, then to their leader. Claw. With 
me! How many times must I teach them this lesson? It's the Black Panther! I do believe you are right. Good. Not that. Clear the camp. Searching it for intel. Should I tell Princess Shuri? She will receive the after action report. <laughs> Plans for some kind of sonic cannon. Claw is targeting the shield around the city. I need to get that fast. Is that the tunnel to Benin Zana? I am going there now. No heading this way, Catman. You will regret this. You're out numbered. Give him everything you got. <laughs> <laughs> you should have brought more!
Stand down, Pander! For Wakanda! That is finished. I can bring a jet to you to get over the collapsed tunnel. No. Send your forces to the shield. That is where close men will be headed. I know another way. Huh. A way you have not shared with the Dora Milaje? I am sharing it with you now. Somewhat begrudgingly. You will enjoy this, Okoye. Is it a secret shared with you by previous Black Panther? Okoye, corrupted vibranium has spread to this part of the jungle too. How is it moving so quickly? I do not know yet. It must be destroyed. shielded when in this state. I will have to wait for it to heat up. Won't fire down! No. This will cause permanent damage. I must be quicker. The corruption has been destroyed and close men pacified. Time to open my shortcut. gets old. I will admit it. That was very nice. Hmm. It is not every day I earn praise from the leader of the Dora Milaje.
Does Princess Shuri know about these paths? She does. All potential Black Panthers do. I have not seen this cave since I was training with my uncle. Like stepping into a memory. I remember breaking this looking for a way in. Explosives were not a good idea. Past reaping the souls of Wakanda's invaders. She protects us always. Another puzzle for future Black Panthers. The hours I spent in this room. The bruises. <sighs> that wasn't right. That one I remember. Good. Moving on. Faster. Perfect. <laughs> if my uncle could see me now.
It is open. Finally. When she grew older, sure he came to stand there beside me, but ultimately, it became my duty to challenge Uncle Sayan in combat. Strange to walk this as the Black Panther. My uncle did his best to prepare me for Midnight Claw. I hope I do not let him down. I wonder what uncle would think about all this. It is clear Ulysses Claw fancies himself a technologist. A sonic cannon. Perhaps the one thing capable of taking down Wakanda shields. I have underestimated the length to which he will go to obtain vibranium. I remember when they modernized the technology behind this tram. Uncle was vehement that it still looked the same as it did a thousand years ago. What in Bas' name? This was not dug, but cut. Some kind of sharp metal drill? So these have been cutting holes in my gavel.
this room used to be for sparring with other prospective Black Panthers. Hard to see it defiled in this way. Claw and his minions must be stopped. If this vibranium had not been refined thousands of years ago, it would have mutated everyone who passed. Shenga wanted every new Black Panther to remember why he received the title. 10,000 years ago, the tribes of Wakanda were at war. The meteor carrying vibranium crashed to Earth. That media became the vibranium mound that overlooks the Golden City. Inside the mound grew the heart-shaped herb, a gift from Bast herself. I have forgotten some of the ancient symbols. Hmm. I will start again. Shenga ate the heart-shaped herb, and Bast blessed him with the powers of the Neck Panther. Okoye, I am through. T'Challa, where in Bast's name have you been? Shure. The Avengers? What are outsiders doing in Wakandan airspace? I let them in. Claude's men made it to the city border and you are not here. I will deal with the Avengers later. First, I must take Claude's sonic cannon offline. Have the Dora Milaje and the Avengers keep close men busy. Draw their attention away from the cliffside. There won't be a problem. But if that shield comes down, they can help you. Stop him! He can't get you the cannon! I have it handled, sister. We don't have much time before they are through the shield. I must hurry.
Guess Claw wasn't exaggerating. Yeah. Hey, Panther Boy. What now? Now you introduce yourself. Crossbones at your service. You want this to hurt more? Or way more? Are you always this well-spoken? No, I pulled out all the stops to the kitty kid. Strange choice for your last words, Crossbones. Keep hitting! This is hilarious! He is shielding the cannon. Let's switch things up! Lay off! As you wish. Uh -oh. Doesn't One look ball. like you're getting through! I know how to take a punch! You know how to run from it, at least. I can't let you do this. Not what I'm after. Shoot it, Okoye. The cannon is down. Maybe next time. Okoye, bring the Avengers to the palace. Your weapons down and your hands up. We're here to see King T'Challa. Good. Because he wants to see you too. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. You made it. King T'Challa, Princess Shuri, we didn't know AIM was following us. If we had... Do you know why AIM has taken a sudden interest in my country? It likely has something to do with us stealing a very powerful weapon of theirs. And destroying another one. I see. If it is any comfort, you did not lead Advanced Idea Mechanics to our doorstep. We've been swatting them like flies for weeks. So you know about the corrupted vibranium. What it can do to things. And people. We are working on a treatment for those affected by it. And are narrowing down its source, but... How do you know about it? Because we've seen it outside of Wakanda. That's not good? Mm. This means Ulysses Claw is doing more damage than we anticipated. He's the head of AIM operations here. 
From the information we've gathered, he's deeply entrenched in the black market vibranium trade, like his father was. You're not concerned? Only by his sonically based technology. It disrupts anything made of or powered by vibranium, including our shields and scanners. But AIM will not be cloaked forever. I can promise you that. We believe that technology has something to do with the corruption. Then we made it just in time. Ah, to offer help. To ask for yours. Now that we know AIM's involved, we can give you information, if you need it. But Vibranium is your specialty. Map the locations of corrupted Vibranium outside of Wakanda. We need to know how far it has spread and plan a dispersal method for medical treatments. I'm on it. Have a look around. You can see what we are already doing to fight Claw and AIM. And hopefully make ourselves useful. Captain Rogers, can you meet me in my lab? You will find it to your right. I'm on my way. Princess Shuri. Tony. There you are. You mentioned you would be willing to share some information. Whatever you need. Wakanda will have access to all resistance intel. Thank you. Now, I am surprised the corrupted vibranium has spread so far beyond our borders. We will need to contain the damage Claw has done. You got eyes on him? Ooh, ooh. Tell him about the Kimoyo network. Kimoyo? This is the Kimoyo network. Well part of it. In cap speak, it's the internet, but better. Much better. The Kimoyo network provides our people access to all of Wakanda's collected knowledge. We use it for communication, transportation, and a great many other things. All thanks to our Kimoyo beads. And she won't let us have one. Citizens only. We have been using the network to keep track of close movements. He is quiet for now, but... If he makes any noise, our warriors will find him. Well, I don't doubt it. Thank you for the data, Captain. And when you get a moment, there is someone else who wants to meet you. If the other guest could come down, down, down to my chambers, I would appreciate it. Follow the smoke. <laughs> huh. Oh, that's new. Guards staring for an uncomfortable amount of time. You think that's weird? Sounds like you know why. <laughs> You're the minority now. This is just how things are. What? Really? Yep. Oh man, that sucks. It's not all bad. Yes, yes, we heard you the first time, Tijota. You feel forgotten. I can't imagine how. Is they named the city after you? Oh, pipe down, I have a guest. Ah, Steve Rogers, the Captain of America. I am honored we can finally meet face to face. King Azuri always spoke fondly of his encounter with the American Iceman. The feeling's mutual. You may call me Zawavari. I am the mystical advisor to the Wakandan royal family. May I ask you a favor, Captain? Always. The young king seems to trust you. Do not make him regret that decision. I won't take our position lightly. I promise. In return, a secret. 
The gods have far more to do with Wakanda's impressive technology than you might guess. As sneaks, the princess's uh, assistant, uh, uh, minion? <laughs> I will tell him I sent you. Your guidance is appreciated. And may the Orisha guide you as well, Captain. Thor! Didn't expect to see you in a place like this. Well, Midgard's sorcery has always piqued my interest. And the royal shaman is quite amusing. He doesn't mind you going through all of his stuff. What? Of course not! We're the best of friends already. We are not. Okay, I'll... Uh, leave you to it. That would be for the best. The king does not respect our body. Zaravari, your communication bead is still functioning on your Kamoyo bracelet, right? Because sending people messages inside their head is unsettling. Oh, oh, they are here. Shh. This is quite the workstation. Combat research and development. All of which is now available to you as well. You may thank Princess Shuri for that. I will. You working on anything interesting? Take a look. Zawavari has been helping me uncover the more mystical properties of Vibranium. Perhaps you'll reap the benefits, should you prove yourself a worthy ally of Wakanda. That's a lot to live up to. Follow our king, and all will be well. <laughs> It's nice meeting you, Nix. Steve, we need you in the war room upstairs. Something wrong? Captain Okoye wants to brief us. Something about malfunctioning security systems. Hmm. I'll be there ASAP. Pondering some things. Where's Fury? What about the invasion? Who leads AIM now that Monica's gone? That is a lot of pondering. Yeah, you can thank Clint for that. Well, we gotta pick our battles, Kate. And it sounds like you might be picking too many. Why are you so good at being right? <laughs> Captain Okoye, what seems to be the problem? King T'Challa has a request. Our scouts have reported Claw is mobilizing his forces throughout Wakanda with remarkable ease. We believe Claw's found a blind spot in Wakanda's security systems. Okoye will investigate and will reinforce if necessary. Claw does seem to know what he's doing. Many have tried to conquer Wakanda, to rob us of our heritage. As you can see, they have all failed. And so will Claw. We'll help you however we can. Good. You have permission to use our war table. Let's put that vibranium of yours to good use, Captain. Thank you, Okoye. 